So, as you can see, um, I just want to demonstrate uh, something that was Jim Kigrill saying um, when he was talking about you know screencasting and that he's getting into it and uh, about the capabilities of Camtasia. Uh, he, he said that uh, it's not possible to kind of like do a video recording like the camera, that uh, cam plus the screen recording and uh, that's not true you can do that um, and I'm just doing it right now uh, so it's just uh, an option you have to uh, make sure let me switch here let's, uh, to another screen that you enabled here the uh, camera which uh, it's not connected because I am uh, connected via remote access to another machine to show you uh, some another nice feature uh, was mentioning when it comes to uh, the preset and logging of the application to a screen resolution. You see that I just uh, changed the resolution and it changed automatically the application that is uh, being recorded as well. So that is very neat and Otherwise, you just have to uh, make sure that you have, you know, certain options enabled, like whatever sound effects you want. You can use different cursors and zoom and pan. Uh, something that's a bit tricky um, to get it right. And then also, if you want to highlight things and if you want to enable, like mouse clicks and uh, keyboard clicks, you know, and stuff like that. So it's pretty nice. Uh, so let's finish this recording and then I can show you the next step uh, what you can do with within the Camtasia Studio itself. So I logged in uh, the application, the recording application, and loaded the uh, camera uh, file. Um, what it did is uh, the one file contains actually two video recordings, one is a screen capture and one is a video recording of me and the audio. In this case the audio is coming with the uh, camera recording, the little you know, uh, recording of me and uh, it could also be a different source. What this picture and picture or whatever you want to call it, yeah, it's you know, <laughs> it's picture and picture. The picture and picture is called PIP, you know, short and Camtasia. So and you can now go and also change a uh, properties of the clip. You can start uh, to you know, change the size and the location of it. You can, you know, the position of it and then you want to have it somewhere else. And you add shadows and, you know, all that kind of stuff. And the screen is a little bit small to kind of give you the right idea. I just moved the clip over. And you also have uh, very nice other features for the recording, like properties. You heard already the sound effects uh, when I was clicking uh, the mouse or the keyboard. You have also the zoom and pan. That's uh, helpful if you have a lot of stuff going on on the screen. Uh, so it follows automatically and highlights and zooms into the parts that is currently active. You can hide the cursor, show it. You can also uh, really illustrate the effect what you will see now is that I highlight clicks and with the sound and also visually. The, the watermark is from Russell Com. I just turned off. You can also uh, go and say you know the highlight and the highlight is you see those boxes it's highlighting the selected areas on the screen. So uh, that's pretty nice. You also have uh, like a screen pad, and that's a very interesting tool where you can add things to the screen. Uh, like uh, here, a little speech bubble, and you can enter text. Hello! Uh, you should now also use the keyboard clicking again. Dunk. Things like that, and a lot more. So um, then you can start really editing and doing uh, stuff whatever you like, and 
finish the recording. So there's a lot more to the Contagia than you probably thought. Uh, so don't be so fast with your statements or oh, you have to have a Mac in order to do certain things. That's not uh, always true. There's a lot of stuff you can do with a PC and uh, you just have to know how to do it. And it's the same as a Mac, you know. It's not always that intuitive because the features are a bit more complicated. And it's complicated and uh, you have to know what you're doing. And if you don't, you have to learn how to do it. So don't listen to Sam. Just uh, use software a little bit more and you will see it. it's doing the stuff you want to. Uh, I'm, my, my presentation is a bit stark and uh, not very smooth because I didn't use it that often but I knew at least about those features to be able to show it to you. Uh, maybe I will do a real screencast presentation one day or so if I have the time because you have to really uh, not only script out what you want to say, you also have to script out you know, the moves and everything in, in greater detail. Uh, a lot of work. Uh, 